Hey guys, it's Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Halo series that's come out for the PC. I absolutely love this game. I don't play it that much anymore because I don't really have an Xbox. But uh, I, I really did love this game and all the series that come out with it. And I was so happy to see it come out on PC. And also know that right off the bat, uh, I'd like to go through the whole, you know, just do a whole series on Halo. And we'll just see... If we can just get everything we can we can get in this i don't know yet but i would like to do like a complete series on it and just make a playlist out of it so i think over the next few series we're going to do some just easy stuff advanced stuff intermediate stuff all the way and just uh, see if we can just get as much as we can get out of this you know? But what I would like to uh, go ahead and concentrate on now is getting you started because this is a huge 64-bit game. And you'll find out that uh, there's a little problem if you go to search for exact values. Can you search for exact values in this game? Absolutely you can. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But I'm going to show you the problem here uh, when I bring everything up. Uh, but there is a problem with that right now. And I'm going to show you how to fix that so you don't run into this problem. Okay, so bear with me just a minute and I'll be right back with you. Okay, right off the bat, I want to go ahead and say, uh, we'll just go ahead and start from scratch here that, you know, right off the bat, we're just, we're just going to concentrate on ammunition. I know you're probably getting tired of that by now, but I, I get it. But uh, this will help get my point across and show you how to fix things, you know, to get this, you know, to be able to hack this game uh, a lot easier and a lot better. First off, I want to say it does come with easy anti-cheat. And basically, that's to keep you from going online and ruining other people's fun on there with cheats and things like that. So please, do not do that, okay? I'm against online cheating. I don't get into that. And these cheat tables and everything we're doing is not going to work. Uh, it's going online, I don't believe. But uh, I believe easy anti-cheat will stop you. So we're not going to get into how to bypass that at this point in time, okay? <clears throat> but anyway. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get started. So for right now, it's, we're just concentrating on single player offline games. And uh, we just want to keep it there. So I apologize to you if you come over here thinking I was going to show you how to do multiplayer online. I, I sincerely apologize to you. But I just don't do that. Okay. Alright, so what I want to do is go ahead and get started. Now, in this particular instance, it's got a loader. And when it's got its own loader, you see that MCC launcher. And uh, let me come over here to applications. This is your default. You can hook it to this or attach it to this. But what I like to do is come over here. And if it's got two separate things like this, I like to go ahead and put it on the main game itself to keep it away from the launcher. So I'm going to attach it to this right here. So you want to go to processes and attach to MCC win 64 shipping.exe. Okay. So let's go into the game, and I'm right at the beginning. I think it's the first mission to reach on here. And let's see here. All right, Noble Team, spread out. Watch the approach. Okay, let me pause it just for a second here so I can turn the sound down and uh, it's not blast over blasting me on here. So uh, give me just a minute, and I'll be right back with you. All righty, so right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Let me just test the sound on it right quick. Okay, that's that's good. All right, so what I want to do is minimize this. So I can alt-tab between the game and cheat engine. There we go. And I'm going to show you. Normally when we look for an exact value, we go 26. I'll just put in the exact value, and we just start our normal scan. And I'm going to show you it's not going to work. And if you've got this game and tried this already, you probably already know this doesn't work. We're down to 22. I'm going to show you how to get it to work, though. All right, next scan, and boom, nothing. And then you, you go, well, okay, maybe it's a float base. So you go to floats. Then you try doubles. Then you try two bites, and you say, well, I cannot find this. Usually, I tell you to go ahead and try it as an unknown value, which you'll still use increase-decrease value, but it's an unknown value. And the worst case scenario, if I tell you to treat it like an encrypted value, that means that instead of going to increase, decrease, you're just going to use change and unchange. But right now we're at the stage, okay, well, it's not finding it on exact value, so we're going to have to treat it as an unknown value, and that's what we're going to do. So let's go down here and put it on unknown value. All right, so we went less, so we decreased value, and I am using my hotkey, so give me just a moment here. Oh, let me do a first scan first. I'm sorry. 
All right, now let's do this. Okay. So we went down to 16, so we're just going to go decrease value. I'm just trying to show you right now that you can still find this, even it's not exact value, even though I'm going to show you it is exact value. But, you know, when you're having this trouble, you can still find it as an unknown value. And then you can see what's going on with it and say, oh, okay, these bots, these addresses are not four byte aligned. And I'm going to show you how to take care of that problem. So while it's doing this little process right here, I'm going to pause it for a minute so we're not sitting through it. Okay, I'm actually starting this back up right where we left off. If you notice the number is different, I'm sorry. I had the computer froze, so I had to get back to this point here. So I just wanted to uh, let you know so nobody would get confused. So I'm sorry that happened. But I'm at the exact same place that I just cut off from a minute ago. And uh, I think it was 18 here, but now we're 10. But it's, it's the same exact process that I'm doing here. So, and it should only take it just a few seconds. There it goes. And like I say, right now, all I'm doing is using decrease and increase values. And what I'm going to do now is reload it. Let's go back to the game and reload it. Okay, reload the uh, all the way up to 32. And we go increase value. And it shouldn't take too long. Now we're just going to go unchange value because we know the value is not changing. Okay, decreased. Just rinse, wash, and repeat till you get it down. This is how you find an unknown value. Typical how you find an unknown value. Well, I accidentally double hit it. Let me try it again. Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay. So let's just decrease. There we go. And we're down to a few we could possibly try here. So, all right and if you see over here you can tell your float values these right here is starting with a one and these are float values you can tell those right off the bat we'll add those to the list and it's not going to be one of these I'm just going to go ahead and get them out of the way and show you when you search your float values you'll notice you already found these when you did your float search when it didn't work the first time and none of these are actually it if I was to freeze all of them you'll see it still goes down see so none of those are it so we can go ahead and discard those but that only leaves three different ones left and these are real funky weird numbers take a look so let's bring these little ones down we just got these values and you notice if you freeze these take a look we only had 10 left so one of these is it and we'll see that it is the top one and you'll take a look at that value and say man that that is that looks like an encrypted value well it's actually not an encrypted value and i'm going to show you why but we what we want to do is find the true value of our ammo so what we're going to do is go ahead and put the debugger on it by finding out what accesses the address there it goes and just shoot around and we'll stop it there. And I'm going to go exactly where it's writing to it. As you can see here, we got the sub. And it's subtracting whatever's in ESI from our... And this is our actual ammunition. If you take a look, what I want you to see here is look at that offset, 2D2. And if you look, Cheat Engine is only finding addresses that end in 0, 4, 8, or C. That's because Cheat Engine is searching for 4 byte alignments. And it starts with zero, then goes to four, eight, and C in hex. But this offset right here ends in two. So let's go to it in mem view. And let's find out the addresses that's going through that particular opcode. And as you can see, it's not being shared. It's probably shared with all our weapons, but you know, one at a time, which is perfect for an infinite ammo. We fire around and take a look at this. Right here. We can see. Let's get rid of these two because those two are not it. Just that top one. 
that you know freezing this one is also freezing the address each byte has its own unique address as we've learned in back to basics if you have not seen that series if you're brand new to game hacking uh, please go watch that but each byte has its own unique address so it's actually starting when we do four byte alignments cheat engine by default is searching for four byte alignments starting at zero okay it always starts at zero so the actual address is just two bytes away from that so it's actually being froze it's freezing all four bytes all four of those addresses at once okay but uh our actual ammo ends in two so if we go look at it in browse memory region which is the memory dump down here it brings us to the 22 and we go look at it this way go four byte decimal boom take a look now we're seeing things as they ought to be take a look at this this is also our inventory if you take a look we can add that to the list so we have that also so now we found our inventory as well but why did it not find it and like I say, here's the culprit right here. And let's let's go and let me show you how to set up Cheat Engine when stuff like this happens. Now I still recommend that you know you just go find it like we just did. Just treat it as an unknown value because you don't know what's going on. You don't know if it's encrypted. You don't know if the alignment's off. You don't know. So I suggest just finding it, and then when you see what the problem is like this, then you know okay, well it's not four by the line. And here's the culprit down here. If you take a look. By default on flat scan, it's doing it by four byte alignments. So you can change that two ways. What I recommend doing is just go ahead and turning this off. Okay. Now if we come up here and search for it, do a first scan. It may take it a little longer. If you turn off that fast scan four byte alignment, it'll search all the addresses for that ten all the bytes okay and let's go ahead and go down to eight I know we have it down here but I'm just showing that you could find it also this way and let's go down again six and here it is right here you see that same as that one right there. Let me move that out of the way. Same as that one right there. So we found it by turning that off. You can also do it by leaving fast scan on and just change the alignment to search every two bytes instead of four byte alignments. Okay, sorry about that. I just want to go ahead and save what I had in case the computer decides it wants to freeze on me again and I lose all that again. So and this time I'm going to show you how you can find it. This is it by default, but we can change it to two bytes. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you. Okay, we're at six right now. We'll do a first scan. And let's just go ahead and reload it. 32. And take a look. Here it is right here. So that's several different ways that you can change the alignment if you're having trouble finding values and you're not understanding why it's doing it like I say my the first method I would recommend is <clears throat> what we did treat it as an unknown value which means when you treat it as an unknown value you're still going to use increase and decrease like it's a bar instead of an actual numeric value and then if you're not getting any results that way then I'll tell you to treat it like an encrypted value which means you're going to use changed and unchanged okay but you know go down those steps first try to find it with its four byte alignment because you'll still find it okay just treat it as an unknown value you'll still find it then you can see if the alignment's the problem then you can just go adjust it and that'll help you try to find your other values later so keep that in mind but what I would like to do is I would like to continue with this game I'd like to come out with a series on it you know we'll have some things that are in there for beginners intermediate as well as advanced and I'd just like to see if we can just hack as much as we can out of this but please keep in mind, uh, this is not meant for online usage, and they do have easy anti-cheat on it that will prevent you from doing that. And these uh, scripts and stuff that you come out with will not work if easy anti-cheat's on. So keep that in mind. So I apologize about that. But uh, 
we're, we're here to learn we're here to have fun and I just want to see if we can hack as much as we can out of this game and I really would like for you to come along with me while we do that so I'm gonna uh, do a series on this and we'll just see what we can find but sometimes these values can be a real pain to find but you know there's all kind of ways and there's all kind of reasons why it's not finding it and you know it's there so keep that in mind of the different things you can try but like I say try to find it as an unknown and then an encrypted before you go changing the alignment because that may not be the problem it may be an encrypted value so that's not that's not going to help you down here if it's encrypted so keep that in mind also so best to always find it on four byte alignment first and then when you're getting that funky number you know that weird six number then you know it's not searching in the alignment and I just want to make sure that I explain that to you when cheat engine searches it starts in four byte alignment which means it's going to start at zero and then it searches four eight and c in hex and that's why it could not find it it's actually treating this address as part of this if you remember me saying in our back to basic series each byte is at its own unique address and that's why when we freeze this it's actually this address here is actually freezing all four bytes all four bytes of the address so it's freezing 22 all the way up to uh, 24 and that's why the next address it searches for will be 24 so it's freezing four bytes all together well the, this is actually part of that byte that four bytes that's why you were able we were able to find it but this is the actual start is at 22 not 20 and that's why and now it's freezing four bytes starting at 22 do you, do you understand what I'm saying I hope that makes a little more sense so what we want to do is we want to either keep this fast scan off or just use two bottle alignments to maybe try to find our other values and uh, I think that's what we're going to do but we'll take a look and see what we can find we're going to get health we're going to get all kind of stuff let me go ahead and thank my partners right quick these guys keep cheap the game running if it weren't for these guys I'd have to fold up shop a long time ago so I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, the dollar donations that you give each month and, and those that give more man I tell you what it helps so much and I really appreciate all the support guys I mean you guys have always been there for uh, CTG and it's because of you that CTG is still here you're keeping ctg alive and i really appreciate it and i thank you all for coming out and supporting these vids placing lights on it that really helps ctg out a lot too and uh, we're here for you guys we like having fun but you know i'm doing this because you guys really enjoy it and i enjoy showing you and uh, we can all learn together and that's what i really like so you know come over and visit us on our facebook page also our discord our website is down at the moment hopefully we can get that back up and running sometime in the very near future uh, but we're always hanging out on the facebook page there's lots of people we all hang out over at the discord channel too so come over and visit us and we would love to help you okay all right guys i'm out of here i'm gonna kick on out so the next uh, series of touch will be on Halo. I really love this game. I hope you'll enjoy it with me and we'll just find what we can find, okay? Alright guys, you take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, doesn't mind cheating you. You all take care. Now.